Brandy, and I'm coming on to do a review of the new Dark and Lovely All Natural Anti Breakage line. Now, I did a review um, some months ago, it may have been a long time ago actually, on Dark and Lovely's All Natural um, Anti Shrinkage line. And that was actually before I became completely natural. Now I'm completely natural and I'm using this new line. And it's kind of geared toward those with natural hair and also transitioners as well. So I think that's awesome that Dark and Lovely came out with something that's kind of marketed towards those who want to transition because there's so many um, relaxed women who you know want to now become natural and they don't really know what types of products that they should use during that stage of their hair like when they're transferring from you know products that work great on their relaxed hair but aren't working so great on their you know multi textured hair so I think that's awesome and they're tapping into like a really big market right now so going in um, there are four products within this line you have your hair wash your conditioner um, a leave-in or what I consider a leave-in kinda and then also a hair butter there is no styler within this line which was kind of odd to me and I know like with the other line the anti-shrinkage line they had like two stylers or three stylers in that one and for this one not to have one at all it's kind of strange but we'll just jump right in I'll start with the um, tension release hair wash now when I saw this particular product and it's called a hair wash I wasn't sure if this was kind of like a co-wash or if it was actually a shampoo until I used it in my hair now the consistency of this it's really really creamy let me see if I can give you guys a close-up of what it's like it's really creamy so it's not really one of those con or one of those shampoos that's going to be clarifying I'm assuming it's kind of supposed to be like a moisturizing shampoo and all of these products have guarana root and honey in them, or at least the label on the front says that. I couldn't really find that within the ingredients, which is odd. And um, this is a sulfate shampoo also. This was a no-go for me. Um, it will be great for women out there who like to shampoo because it has a great, great lather. It's nice and creamy. You only need a little bit, and it really, really does clean your scalp and your hair. I didn't have any buildup on my hair and I didn't need to like do a clarifying wash or anything like that so it really stripped my hair and I mean like really stripped it to the point where I knew I was going to have to deep condition afterwards and I couldn't just go from this to a leave in or anything like that so it's really good that they have a conditioner within this line. I'm going to tell you guys what it smells like or at least attempt to what it smells like. It's not a bad smell. It's kind of fresh, it's clean. I don't think it's something that's off-putting to anyone. Like, if you if you purchase this, I don't think you have a problem with the smell. And it's a shampoo, so most of the time they're not gonna linger after you put your styling products on. And right here, if you can read it, which I was saying that it's geared towards transitioners, it says right there that it's ideal for transitioners. So that's awesome. Next up is the Anti-Breakage Strength Restoring Conditioner. And this is what it looks like. It has the same main ingredients as the shampoo and the other products, which is the honey and guarana root. For me, this also was a no-go. I was excited about this conditioner because it is so, it's so freaking thick. Like, I cannot even shake this down. Um, the smell of this is just like the shampoo. So it's a nice, it's a pleasant smell. Very pleasant. Now... As I said, I was really excited to use this conditioner because it's so thick and creamy. And I was thinking like, oh, I'm going to have amazing slip with this. But honey, no. It was the hardest, the hardest trying to detangle my hair with this conditioner. And I finger detangle, so I'm sure that probably, you know, added on to the detangling itself. But I'm telling you, like, I felt like I was pulling and tugging on my hair. Um, normally, when I put on a conditioner, I can just go right into detangling. I don't have to let it sit or anything like that with conditioners that I normally like to use, and that's what I look for in a conditioner. So with this, um, yeah, I had to put it on my hair, and I started finger detangling right away, and I was like, no, mm-mm, you're gonna have to let this sit a little bit. So I pinned my hair up and finished everything in the shower, and then when I came back around to it, I still tried to detangle again and I added more conditioner 
and it was not happening like it took me a good minute to detangle my hair and I even tried doing it under running water still wasn't the best um, I didn't use this as a deep conditioner although it says that you can which that's a good marketing thing like you don't have to have two separate products one as a rinse out conditioner and one as a deep conditioner so this is like all of that in one and you probably could even co-wash with this some ladies um, for my hair I don't feel like I, I feel like I have like 3C textured hair so it's not even like 4A, B or C which is more kinkier so I was just like if I can't detangle with this what are my 4B, C and 4A ladies or what are they going to do when they try to detangle with this so yeah this wasn't this wasn't too pleasant for me okay moving on we have the root to tip mender now look at this small bottle here look at this this is four ounces the shampoo and conditioner are both 13 and a half ounces um this says that it's just a root to tip mender it doesn't say that it's a leave-in so i you know assume that it was based on the directions what it which it says um after shampooing and conditioning your hair apply this from roots and pull through to the ends and then proceed with your styling regimen so leave-ins normally come after you shampoo and condition your hair and before styling so this right here I'm going to show you guys how this comes out now one thing I will say about this that I do like I like the fragrance of this a lot more than the shampoo and the conditioner it's definitely different it's more perfumey so if you're sensitive to smells you probably won't like this and it definitely does linger in your hair I have this in my hair today along with the hair butter and this is like more overpowering than the hair butter which I used after this so I do like the smell of this a lot um, let me show you how this comes out that's another thing I don't like about like this here let me show you how much comes out with one squirt that's it that's it <laughs> Now, I don't know what I can do with this one squirt. I guess I would have to take like a small piece of my hair and work this into it. But yeah, it takes like a good 10 pumps for me just to get enough to put on like a quarter of my entire head. And that's one thing that I, I really don't like about this. Um, I feel like it should be in a different type of packaging for a leave-in conditioner. Um, as I said, like I like the product, it's nice and light. And I probably could have used this by itself like I normally do. Like normally I only style with leave-ins. So I probably could have used it by itself alone. But I did want to, you know, try all of the products in the line. So um, I don't have too many bad things to say about this. Okay, moving on to the very last product. It is the Super Softening Hair Butter. And this is what it looks like. Okay, this product. Um, yeah, it's called, it says on the top that it's a leave-in butter. So I'm assuming maybe you could use this alone or if you want something a lot, you know, a little bit lighter for your hair, you could just use the root to tip, um, mender instead. So maybe the, to me, it seems like these are both like leave-ins. So you could choose, you know, ladies who have a lot thicker hair, you, you choose the butter and ladies who have, you know, kind of on the fine or, you know, in the middle type of texture you could use just the um, mender um, the consistency of this let me tell you the smell first it smells like the shampoo and conditioner which is kind of weird that three of the products in the line smell have the same fragrance but then one doesn't and this is what the consistency of it looks like so it looks really thick when you just look at it and of course it's not moving but it's very light and pillowy and I love that about it like, and yeah my hair was so super super soft after I put these products in and it was air drying on its own then I hit it with the diffuser a little bit and it was super soft after it dried and then maybe like an hour or two later yeah my hair was like crunchy it had a little bit of coating on it and I was just not happy at all and it looked a little bit ashy it was not shiny like it normally is now this is second day hair 
I will say that I did have to put something else on top of it because I just could not stand the way that my hair felt. So I put a little my Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk on top of my hair and it, it softened it up a little, but still, I don't know, what do you guys think? All right guys, that concludes my review of the products. I want to thank NaturallyCurly.com as well as Dark and Lovely for allowing me to review these products. If you guys have any questions about the products that I've discussed in this video, feel free to leave them below in the comment section. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.